Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome in if you are new. Today we are jumping into our spring bucket list. So I have compiled all the fun and exciting things that I wanna do with my family this spring season. If you guys are in need of some ideas for your own bucket list, this is the video for you. So let's just jump right into it. Um, I love doing these. In my house, I place our spring bucket list. I put it on an acrylic board. I will link it down below. I got it from Amazon. And um, my daughter loves checking off the different activities or the different things that we do as we do them. So first things first, on my spring bucket list, I love to set the tone for the season that is coming or that we're in by decorating my house. So this could be in depth where you add little touches to every single room, um, or it could be just changing out your seasonal florals that you have in your house or going outside to pick some flowers and adding things from nature. So this could be an array of things, but I just love adding little cozy seasonal touches throughout our home just to set the tone and just to get us ready for the season ahead. Um, the next thing that I love to do, um, we're going to do this season, is we're going to go tulip picking. I have never gone tulip picking. I've gone picking for various fruits, um, apples, blueberries, strawberries, all of that stuff, but I have never been tulip picking, so I'm super excited. Um, if you don't know, if you're new to my channel, I live in like the North Dallas, Texas area, and there is a tulip picking farm not too far away. It's a little bit of a drive but I'm just excited and I think it'll be a fun adventure I know my daughter's gonna love it maybe my husband not so much but he will grin and bear it for us girls but tulip picking so excited to do that the next one in Dallas we have an amazing botanical gardens um, our gardens are just so beautiful and I'm so excited I know another flower centric activity but i'm so excited to check out the gardens and to check out all of the different blooms that they have so and we're going to take some really cute fun pictures so all the beautiful colors in the dallas texas area of all our beautiful flowers so i can't wait to go visit that next on the list i love going to the zoo all oh, all times of year but I'm excited to visit the zoo this spring just to check out the new spring babies that have been born I know our zoo they have had quite a few babies be born recently so I'm excited to do that and then I always love going to the Fort Worth Zoo as well if you haven't been to the Fort Worth Zoo that's a little bit of a drive for us but it is a great zoo but I love our Dallas Zoo here but I can't wait to visit Dallas and Fort Worth Zoo because they're really great the next on the list I have um, and we love to do this for every season just checking out going to our local library and checking out some spring books um, during the season we have spring as the season Easter and St. Patrick's Day. So can't wait to check out some book to, books to add them to my daughter's collection. We just love doing that. Next um, thing that we wanna do is to plant some flowers. And this could be in your beds outside, or it could be as simple as planting a few seeds in a pot. And I love to do this with my daughter, just the whole cycle of how things grow, what we need to, um, have things grow. I just love all that. So I can't wait to plant some flowers. We decorated our home already for spring, but we still need to do the front patio. I want to add a few touches to our back patio. So I just can't wait to plant some flowers. Uh, next on our list, this is more St. Patrick's Day, but it's right in the middle of March, but I can't wait to, we always make a leprechaun trap. So you can do these with existing things that you have within your home, but I also like to do this stuff with, um, I bought, I've bought a few kits off Amazon, I've gotten a kit on Michaels. I will link our favorite kits down below, but I just love making um, a leprechaun trap and my daughter loves, you know, seeing if we can catch the leprechaun. The next thing um, is to 
dye Easter eggs and we do that every single year and it's just fun. I brought a few kits this year. We have that little spinning thing where you do it with a marker. It comes with special markers. I'll link that down below. But um, I bought a few kits from the grocery store already. That kind of stuff you always need to get early before they sell out. Um, I bought like a mermaid one and then they have like a tie-dye one. So just fun little things but we love decorating Easter eggs. And then the next is an Easter egg hunt. We typically do this on Easter, but um, our town usually has like an Easter festival. So my daughter will get, the, get to do this a little bit before. Last year, I think we went to like three or four Easter egg hunts and I'm pretty sure it'll be the same this year. So loving all the Easter egg hunts and it's just always fun for the kids. Um, next, we love to decorate cookies for Easter time. So I love either, you know, making sugar cookies or if you're short on time, buying the pre-made sugar cookies. And um, I like to use our own frosting and diet. I just feel like it spreads better. But a lot of the kits you can get come with frosting, but that's always a fun, easy activity. And it's kind of one of our traditions. And then this year in April, we actually have the eclipse that is going to be rolling right through our area, the Dallas, Texas area, and then right through um, near our town. So our kids have off from school, so I need to buy my, the glasses for it. I want to buy good ones, not the little paper ones. And then just make that a whole event since the kids are gonna be off from school. So I'll make that a whole eclipse event. So that's another big thing that we have happening this spring in Dallas. But that is actually it for my list. So like I said, I put this on an acrylic board. It has wood on the bottom. It just goes with the aesthetic of our home and my daughter gets to check off the bucket list. You could do this with a piece of paper that you hang on the refrigerator. But it's just a fun way. If you have those slower weekends, you're like, what can we do? <gasps> let's go check out some books from the library. Or let's go, which I forgot to add on here, a spring craft. We always do seasonal crafts. You could be like, this weekend, let's do the spring craft or whatnot. So I hope this list helped you and gave you some ideas of some fun things to do this spring, Easter, St. Patrick's Day season. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again very soon with a whole new one. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.